Hello everyone, Anita here and this is day 23 of the 30 day sketchbook challenge. And for today I've decided to give myself a real challenge and do something that I was really scared to try <laughs> because it's kind of a complicated um, thing I think for a beginner. I've decided to do a Copic Galaxy. I have a lot of colors at the moment and enough to try um, to paint a galaxy but it's kind of tricky, you know, you have to do a lot of blending and making galaxy is always very daunting for me <laughs> in any medium. It's, it's just, it's always, because it doesn't look good until you put the stars in. It's just, it looks really bad. And so I really, I was really, yeah, I didn't know if I wanted to do it or not, but it just, it, I got it stuck in my head. So just to get it out of there, I had to try it. And so as you can see, I'm making a very simple sketch. This is just a female head with ginormous uh, hair, much larger than it's supposed to be. I mean, there's a lot of things hidden inside that hair to make it this big, obviously. A lot of hairspray, because it's not human. Like, her head must be humongous. I mean, look at that size. <laughs> but I needed a lot of space for the galaxy, because I wanted to have a galaxy in the hair. Just because I knew that if I didn't do it this way, uh, I would probably stuck it somewhere in the background and then it would be just a drama. Hair is much safer, it's a smaller uh, surface. I can handle hair. <laughs> and so I've pulled out a few colors and there is a whole list in the description. It's basically um, a variety of different light purples going to black. So there's like a very light lilac color and there is this blue hydrangea, which is a little bit of a bluish purplish color, like a blue with a purple tint, uh, which then goes into a darkest blue I have, and I really don't have anything in between those two colors, so I had to kind of, you know, mix it and, and do a little bit of wiggling there. But it worked out in the end. Um, and then I have, of course, the black, um, which just, it has to be, there has to be a black. And so, as you can see, it just looks... Oh, terrifying. It just looks terrifying. <laughs> but um, especially the first few layers, the, the first layer I put the, for just to mark the colors, that just looked like, she looks like some kind of weird psychedelic babushka. From, you know, like one of those babushka dolls. That's what it reminded me of. <laughs> and But the more I was um, blending it and seriously... These colors I don't use too often because if I did, I would feel really bad about using this much ink. It completely bled through the paper. I mean, all of them, all of my Copic uh, pictures bleed through. It's just, I don't know, it's just this paper. It's not a Copic paper, of course. Uh, it's just, ble it's just completely ble bleeding through. And But this one, I needed to put a different, like another sheet of paper because it was just so bad. <laughs> but the more I was... Um, blending it, the more it started to take shape. It still looked like a very psychedelic thing, but I kept telling myself that, you know, it really, you can't really see the whole galaxy thing until you put the stars in. And so the only thing I could do is just to try and blend it as good as possible. And I think even that is not necessary because when you look at, that's something I have just in my head, I blend way too much uh, and that's with everything. It's the whole thing where I just like the, my, my, you know, wash is very flat in watercolor. That's the same thing here. I like my gradients really flat. So I was trying to make the Copic as flat and nice as possible with the awesome, you know, a clean, clean transitions of color. But it's not necessary because if you see me, I'm adding later on uh, some bits and pieces in with colored pencils just to break that evenness, if that's even a word. Because it needs a little bit of texture, you know, the clouds, the other <laughs> clouds. And, but you know what I mean? Like you see those space uh, pictures and there is this like bunch of stars that look like a cloud. That's what I mean. So, um, and so uh, I, at some point I, you know, I was done with this, um, with the, the background of the galaxy. And I was, I didn't know where to go from there because I knew the stars had to be added at the end. And I didn't know if I wanted to make splatters and then with what, or if I wanted to add them by hand. In the end, I'm adding them by hand <clears throat> just because I wanted to have control and this picture is not that big. So 
I don't really need all the splatters. But then again, I was also uh, wondering, what should I do with the face? I mean, the face was kind of left out. It's, for me, the face is just there for the you know sake of making it an illustration, but I was more concerned about the galaxy rather than the face. Uh, but this was also a very nice experiment, uh, just to... because I have... I don't have that many colors that can be used as flesh, and I don't have that much skill and experience to mix my own flesh tones from the copics I have. I mean, I wouldn't even know how to go around doing it, and I don't really need that, because that's just... I just would use that in a sketchbook anyway. So this here was a very nice experiment because I used the same beige I used before, but this time I've added uh, light purple shadows, like I would normally do in watercolor and with colored pencils, and that really nicely um, added a nice shade to the to the skin that matched the, the hair, and I never really uh, it never really occurred to me with Copic, so. You know, that's something... I, I keep treating Copics like a separate, completely medi medium that has its own rules, but a lot of those rules apply from different mediums, so the watercolors, the colored pencils, it's... You know, you, you use the same rules of applying colors, just the medium is different. Uh, and so, as you can see here, I'm adding um, different colored pencils, that's what I was talking about, just to break that evenness. <laughs> I don't even... I really don't know if that's a word. But so that it's a little less um, blended, so that it has some texture. And then I started adding a little dots and blending them out, um, just to see how that would look like. It kind of gives like a weird, but it makes it does the job. It I wanted it to look like a shiny star, and it did the job. And then I started um, coloring in this piece over here, which is supposed to be like a hair tie. But I really didn't know what colors to use for it because I wanted to use something that would um, stand out from all the galaxy. But the only color I had was the skin tone, and now when I'm coloring it in, it just looks like some kind of weird el elongated neck. But it's fine, I mean, I don't really mind. It doesn't bother me, it looks interesting. I really like the star. I made it look a little bit 3D, so... It's like, like not a flat star, but that it's actually poking out from there. It kind of... it looks really cool. I When I was drawing it in, I didn't have really plan for it, so... That made me happy. And if you're wondering what's with her face, I actually drew her facial expression like this because I was <laughs> like she her, uh, herself was wondering uh, what I was doing if if I would succeed or not, and that's why she's very very nervous <laughs> if I would make this picture you know look good. So the last thing I've done is add all the little um, white stars, and I try to concentrate them more in those lighter areas, um, but. All in all, it's really just... I was just adding dots. There was nothing more to that. And that really pulled it together and that made it look like a galaxy. Um, so, yeah, don't give up on your galaxy until you add stars, because you might be surprised. <laughs> and that's pretty much it, guys. Nothing really fancy today. Well, I guess it is fancy compared to previous days, but it's more of like an experiment for me to see if I'm getting any uh, new skills in, you know, Copic markers. And I think I am. I think I'm really getting somewhere. Thank you so very much for watching and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!